This is her office. When she comes from school, this is her office. You know, she takes some papers and the pen and she starts working. They all do that, don't they? Yes. What's your name, love? Nasreen. 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 Nasreen.
We accept all the Jewish prophets as our prophets. They won't accept one of ours. No, that's all. The strife in the Middle East is political. It's not religious. It's not racial. You know, I'm so pleased to hear you say that because when I heard that, that this uh, one of your Islamic leaders in the Cape has now declared it to be a holy war, how can one justify a political uh, invasion like that to be a holy war? Right. And, and let's also take a play on words. How can a war be holy anyway? Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that would be on another level. Yeah. We can discuss. I, I'm not with what they say. This war is not a holy war. What's yes. going on now is not a holy war. Yes. But there can be holy war. Yes. Like you know, we have been fighting for peace, 1948 and 1914. Yes. Uh, so many million of our young men died for truth and justice, mm -hmm. for peace. Mm -hmm. So now, if that, you defend in your own country. Uh, Hitler was attacking Britain. Yeah. You know, that. And now you're defending yourself. And now the only way that you extend your hostilities, mm -hmm. like Gibbon, the master historian, he defined and follows the fire. He says, man has a right to defend his person and his position and to extend his hostility with no amount of satisfaction and retaliation. Every human being has that right. To defend himself, his person, his position, the other cheek. and <laughs> no turning the other cheek. There is a beautiful philosophy. Mm -hmm. you see? But now I want to know who's turning the other cheek. That's right. Who went? No. So on that basis, I was telling to my good British people when I went there. I said, you see, turning the other cheek, you good Christians, you should have told Hitler. He said, look, what you worry about? Come, welcome. You want to take over Britain? Britain, yes. Come and take it over in our empire as well. You know, turn the other cheek. If a man takes your coat, give him your cloak also. That's our right. empire. I said, did you do that? He says, no. I said, why didn't you? You're a good Christian. No. What you did was right. You fight them on the beaches. You know, with the brooms. I said, you are just a man. That's a holy war. Holy defense of your country, your nation, your position. You have everything. Right. Whether one side is wrong or right, what happened, what now? But now, in your mind, it's a holy thing that you're doing. It's the right thing, righteous thing. It's holy. So that you bring something holy, defending yourself. And in the process, you're going to kill the other guy. You got to, otherwise he's going to kill you. <laughs> so what can you do? Right. So but now, with our Jewish cousins, our problem is that we saw the head. Palestine. Mm. My brothers, the Arabs say Palestine belongs to us. And my cousins, the Jews, they say Palestine belongs to us. So we are both fighting for a piece of land. It's not a fight, a war over religion, or it's not a war over race. The Jew doesn't say kill the Arab because he's a Muslim. Mm -hmm. But the Arab doesn't say kill the Jew because he's a Jew. Mm -hmm. No, he said you took my land. They're both fighting for it. That's land. what all wars are about, yes. it's land. Right or wrong, yeah. on either side, they're both fighting for the piece of land. Mm -hmm. Where we can, I like it, that we can sit and talk. Nothing sit and talk. But that's what people don't want to do. That's what civilization is all about. Okay. We don't want to talk. We can differ. But we, I want you to see my point of view. That's all. At the end of it, it is, well, Mr. Deeds, I see your point of view, but uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't agree with you. I mean, you must, you must agree that there will come a time when, if you cannot resolve it by talking, right. what do you do? Right. I just had this page opened up here. Right. I was explaining to somebody else, I'm sorry. It kills you here, the solution. Right. I was talking to the other guy, so it's still open to the same place. It says here, if two parties among the believers fall into a quarrel, make ye peace between them. But if one of them transgresses beyond bounds against the other, then fight ye all against the one that transgresses until it complies with the command of God. Right. And what is just and right. If two parties, is it yeah, true? that's yeah. very clear. Yeah. Or another, or between a family, or between individuals, we are to make peace. So now to make peace, I want to listen to you both. Yeah. What's the problem? listen to you, I listen to him, then I tell you, I said, look, sister, in this case here, yeah, what don't you compromise, you know, come to terms. I think, you know, yes, the need is the policy, but it's in the right. Now, you won't listen because you are too strong. So in that case, all of us now must get together to put you right. Yes. The United Nations, it's the United Nations. All of you get together and put the guy right. So then we're just right. So to me now, the thing is, we don't say holy what my my people emotion. We are all talking from emotions. And this is one of the basic uh, the ingredients of man is emotions. 
and the most powerful factor in emotion is hatred. That's the most motivating for hatred of the people. So, you see, we are taking steps on that basis of emotions and hatred. We hate the Americans. Not oh, Americans as the people, me personally. I like the people. Because they are big and strong, and you can talk to them, and I can debate with them, and when you hold them over, they, they recognize. No, 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 but they recognize that no, we have a point there. Now that's a, that's a great thing. But I'm not talking about the people, the nation, I'm talking about the governments. Because every successive government is being manipulated by something. They say there is something what is called the Jewish lobby. There are six million Jews in America. Now the six million Jews is a power, a vote. No president can become the president of the United States yeah, without Jewish backing. Mm -hmm. So you need the sympathy. Yes. They want to know now, what do you think about this problem? Jesse Jackson, he said something, finish. Andrew Young, he said something about the Paris. Hello, give them a hearing, finish, go on. You'll never hear about the guy again. There is some power at work that if you say anything that goes against the Jewish interest in any way, right or wrong, yeah. you are finished. So I can see that now if America is the cause of our problem in the Middle East against the Jews. If Americans didn't come in, we could have settled ourselves, we ourselves. They said, look, when we are brothers and cousins, look, you need as we need you. We could have come to terms. But now America is putting up. 1948, Israel came into being. How? The United Nations. What happened there? America couldn't get sufficient votes for the partition of Palestine. So America blackmailed all the small nations that you, if you don't vote towards this resolution, they'll be held to pay. This is history. Every history book of Palestine will tell you that America blackmailed the people to vote. They went back on their word to the Arabs. Right. Yeah. So, first, Britain, Belfort Declaration, you're giving somebody else's property to somebody else. Your father's property, right? I don't know, Britain. Is that your father's property that you want to give? Why didn't you give part of Scotland? You know, Scotland, no. Oh, wait. Why did you give away the Arab country? You, you, America. Why are you giving away somebody else's property? I'm not an authority on Jewish affairs or history, and that, but surely it was written in the book that that's where they were, that's where they came from. No, right. No, no, we'll come to that. We're just looking at why I hate America. I just want to tell you why I hate America. Why the whole Muslim world hates America. Mm. Hate is too strong a word. No, no. I can't so believe that you it's hate anybody. It's so. Man of God. No, no. You see, if it is so, Jesus said. This is, he is not of me who does not hate his father and his mother and his wife and his children and and love me. This is you are you must hate. I don't know what it is. That's biblical, the King James Version. You have to hate them all before you follow me. You know, you're like I'll open up the verse for you. Mm. But let's say maybe the word is uh, I'm it's a little too strong. I, I'm too strong. But now for for to give you the shock as a right. I hate America. I want to show you now what happened. <coughs> the emotions, what is doing to you. What is doing to you, see? And what's doing to the masses. You don't expect from me, but I said, now look what I want masses. Do you consider America as as being the enemy in this particular conflict, or is it the United Nations? Because no, no, the America... no, 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 I'm just showing you why people talk what they're talking. I don't want to give you that, then we can... Then we can be more specific. Can discuss, no. <laughs> why, why is this type of the mood? What has the largest created is the mood. So America created the problem for us, Israel, by partitioning Palestine. Then she's giving Israel three billion dollars a year gift. Our money lying in American banks, it's all right, just one. Huh? Just one. Three billion dollars a year of our money they're giving to the Jews to arm them against us. Every successive war in the Middle East, we are not fighting the Jews alone, we're fighting America. In 1973, for the first time, the Arabs took the initiative. The Ramadan War, the Yom Kippur War. First time. Every time they're getting caught out, caught out. For the first time, they caught out the Jews. They caught them off guard. Because they didn't heed the warning given by America. Through satellites, they told them, they said, look, the Arabs are on the move. But they said, we know the Arab psychology. They make a big noise. So we teach you, we'll do this, we'll do that. By that time, freedom can strike. Freedom can strike. So they know, this is just, you know. So they took it lightly, the warnings. But the Arabs were daily on the move. And they crossed the bar left line. They had the Jews by the throat. And Israel cries for help. And America with million machines direct into the battlefield. Turn the table. 
So Sada, as a wise man, this is good man. Every time we fight this devil, we're fighting America, and we can't fight him. So the best thing is to make a compromise. So can David a call? He broke up the Arab unity, but I can't blame. Him. I'm sympathetic, sympathetic towards Sada for what he did. This guy, the way to move with the shooting chest. Every war, this, Egypt is getting the whole thing. No, no, they're not. So now, this great America is creating the problems for us. America goaded Iraq to invade Iran. America goaded them. Yes, this war here, eight days before, eight days before second of August, on the 25th of July, April Gillespie, the United States ambassador to Baghdad. She's telling Saddam. This was in the New York Times. It's on 25th of July, she's telling Saddam, he said, we are not war interested in Arab upon Arab confrontation. Like here, black upon black. They said, don't say, look, you feel, kill yourself, we don't care a damn. Something, they said, look, that's Arab upon Arab. It's not our business. The price of oil, they said, look, there are so many people in America. They will be happy to see that the price of oil go up because they are also oil producers. Mm -hmm. Maybe in Britain also will be happy if the price went up. That's the all business people. You know, we, 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 business people are like that. You don't care about the nation, it's about yourself and how much more profit you can make. So actually gave him the green light. Gave Saddam the green light. We won't eat the cake. This was, that, that this was, was the, the American? Mrs. April Gillespie. Can speak? April Gillespie. That's a Gillespie. She, she told Saddam. But what, what authority did she have? So as an ambassador. Was she the ambassador? Ambassador of America in, 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 in Iran. So you talk, you know, so maybe yeah. to her is just talking lightly. But well, you never hear that. We've, I've never heard that story before. They're not repeating. I got, I got a video is of the CNN, is? not CNN, that other program, Don Are You. Yes. Uh, they said, look, they don't talk about it anymore. Nobody ever talks about it on any media. Why? April Gillespie, this is what she said, it appeared in the New York Times, and nobody contradicts it. Mm. In other words, now, this guy was given the green light. What, to, to enter Kuwait? That's right. Yeah. No, this is not our problem, that's yours. This is, you know, like you're telling good tell in, in, in Qatar, in the ANC. Uh. This is, you people, you fight that, you know, uh, we will you know, look the other way. But, uh, right? Maybe it's about shoot us that way, right? You kill yourself, this has nothing to do with it. We won't jump in. So, April Gillespie gave him the green light. But maybe they had second thoughts afterwards. Who? America. Maybe I'm saying, I'm thinking that the Jews, they said, look, this is an opportunity, golden opportunity to destroy Iraq. If you don't destroy Iraq now, he'll become the real monster what Hitler was. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's a fact. And the only danger in the Middle East for the Jews was Iraq. What? So this is the opportunity to get that guy out now. Not Saudi Arabia and all that. No, 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 that, 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 that the fears are different. You see, the fear is, this guy's taken Kuwait. Mm -hmm. Next thing, this is my brother. He's done it. He's taken one country, one benefactor. He's come and, and take another one. Right. Mm -hmm. And Saudi Arabia is so big, it's so vast. Mm -hmm. If you look at the map of the world, there's a huge chunk of land. You don't find Iraq there, you don't find Kuwait there, the only thing you see is Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, yeah. But the standing army of Saudi Arabia happens to be 65,000. <laughs> Not even good for breakfast. You know? Standing army? Standing army of Saudi Arabia. 65,000? 65,000. And today, it's uh, one, one million. One million, million. got half a million there so, already. Yes, no. This was the hope of our side, <laughs> as far as the Iraq, Iraq was concerned. We were looking forward to the day so this when is, she would attack this time. Look, this is our hearts, mm -hmm. you know, our emotions, because this is our land they have taken and there's nothing we can do. We are frustrated, you know, every time America comes in, now we have a brother coming up who's going to do the job for us. And he's promising half of Israel is going to blast out. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Hate you. Right or wrong, this is how all human beings, their minds are working. Right. So, instead of going into Israel, the guy goes and takes weight. Easy meat. That Kuwait was his benefactor. You have some grievances against Kuwait. But no, that didn't justify the invasion and raping that country. So now, Saudi Arabia get terrified. He said, Look, this is the next move. So he cries for help. So he cries for help, any devil will do. This is human nature. If you are drowning and somebody, that your very enemy, comes on a raft or a boat, 
gives a helping hand. Paul is, is not going to shout, hey, don't take his hand, you know, he is a thief, he's a murderer. <laughs> he gives it, he can't swim the coward. So he's going to do it. Anyhow, he's going to be saved. <laughs> saved my wife, my daughter, my sister. This is the kind of help. And you say, America, the devil comes to the rescue. Right? He has his motive. It's, if Kuwait was producing sausages, America would never have come in. <laughs> it's oil. And then, so we say, now, there are other factors involved. But to me now, I said, Saudi Arabia was justified in calling for help. And this guy comes to help. I can't blame America. But the people, is the hatred, is making them to think now. So all the people were against Iraq when she invaded Iraq. The same people now turn somersault. No, no, this is the masses. This is the mind of the masses. You know, you can just... Shh, shh, shh. Mm. You can play it on emotions, mm. especially yeah, hatred. I have to listen to someone there right? So now that someone, you need a platform. You need a platform. Mm. Whether you talk and reason, say, no, come, come, tell you. you say there's jihad talking to me. You know, the Muslims say, this is jihad. I said, now, was it jihad? when Iraq invaded Iran. This is exactly what I said yesterday. Really? It's exactly what I said yeah. yesterday. Was that jihad? Was that jihad, yeah. So this is not. Because <coughs> it was wrong for Iraq to do that. So it's not jihad. So now, is it right for Iraq to commit Kuwait? So the, you know, the national it was justified. So they said, you see, at one time, this was a part of Iraq. Kuwait was a part of it is this Westerners. They cut us up. <laughs> so for easier manipulation. I said, okay. But before they did that, that whole region was a part of the Ottoman Empire. Mm -hmm. Turkey was ruling. Now can the Turks have a, have a claim to all this? He said, look, even Iran belongs to us. What the hell are you talking about Kuwait? Yeah. You know, this is not ours. This was the Ottoman Empire, even including Saudi Arabia. Has they actually right? He said, no. I said, on the same principle what you are talking about, the Jews have a right to the West Bank. They said, this is Judea and Samaria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have they a right? He says, no. So I said, then it's not jihad. Yeah, that's right. No, no. You see, now you've got to sit and talk. Mm -hmm. That's important. Now, that the is. main factor that was moving us was hatred. So this book, this book, nobody reads the book. I'm talking about the Muslims. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> I read it. No, nobody really reads it, really. You, you, know, you, you gave me one. No. <laughs> you see what I mean? Really reading it means you read with the idea of this book is a book of instructions telling you under all these problems what to do, how to what to how to behave, what to say, what not to say. So here it tells you. Tells you. Oh you who believe. Chapter five was nine. Okay. Check it out. Five, nine. Oh you who believe. You have faith, you believe in God. Stand out firmly for God. Stand up firmly for God. As witnesses to faith dealing. If you stand up for faith dealing for justice, you are standing for God. God is just and you are doing justice. You are standing for God. You are on the same wavelength with God. You are on the same wavelength with God. To be one with God. You say, at one month, at one month with God, this is God's position, I take that position. So you are one with him. You don't make it so. As witnesses to God, as witnesses to faith. And let not the hatred of others to you make you swerve to wrong and depart from justice. What's making you take up certain stance? Is your hatred. I hate the Americans. Now that's what's moving me. It's my criteria of judging now. So I'm confused. I hate the Iraqis. Now that's making you take up certain stance. Don't do that. I hate the Saudis. So many reasons. No. Let not that be a criterion of judging. Like, wrong. <laughs> now I must do justice. So now I want to listen. So I must get rid of all that. My hatred for the Americans, my hatred for the Jews, my hatred for the Iraqis, my hatred for the Saudis. All his brothers. Do you All his brothers. But, no. As far as justice is concerned, now you have two litigants coming along before me. I like one and I don't like the other. Mm -hmm. Like a hypothetic oath. You okay? take. This should be like an oath that every judge must utter before he starts proceedings. Let not that make you to commit justice against 
I think it's very difficult with humans who have preconceived hatreds. You have a natural dislike for the Americans, which you've already said. So you are always, no matter how you try, because you're a human being, you're going to be biased right. in that direction. Right. The creator knows the machine he's made. Yeah. He knows this machine with that proclivity or weakness. So now he's warning you, and this is the data material for your programming. Now if you have programmed that way, again and again you say, do justice, even if it goes against yourself, even if it goes against your father or your mother, or against the rich or the poor, just do justice, you know. If you program yourself from China, you will be able to do it. See, it's a program. You condition. You condition. See, there are amazing things you can do. There are people who are programmed, when the dear one dies, they laugh. He's happy! How can you be happy? He's happy, no, he's all that. Say, no, that's the will of God. But you are not happy. My mother was crying when his son died. I said, what is this that we see? He said, this is what I owe my child. I'm not protesting, I'm not complaining. But I said, this is what I owe the departed soul. So I must give what I owe to him, my child. God is born, and now the child is taken away. I cry. This is what I owe to him. I will give what is you. How the fall is not, and uh, as soon as we watch the prayer, we come back and we will carry on, we will keep, and we will talk. Any, any questions that you have, you just hold them, and then... When you return. The prayer is on. Yeah, yeah. You bring it up. You go now. Stop. Oh, yeah. Stop. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 It's an experience of a lifetime. You see the looks of my prayer. Can I leave? I'm with them for you, especially. If you like, you can leave. Yeah. Five seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. Am I there? Yes, it will be there. Five seconds. We'll see all that time. It's all we want, man. Oh, sorry, darling. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, Neil and Anthony, come here with me. Thank you. No, John and John. John and John is easy. He's always like John and John. Neil and F. Same like John and John. 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 Although on the basis of the test, it fails. That means this was not the word of God. But I will concede, as if Palestine was my father's property, I am prepared to give it to you. And this title deed of yours. Yes. So, I said, I am prepared to concede. So, what does it say? It says, I will give unto thee and to thy seed after thee. So, all right, Abraham didn't get it, but all the seed. So, I am asking, who is the seed of Abraham? He said, me, the Jews. I said, no doubt, you are the seed of Abraham. But are you the only seed? <laughs> so, Abraham was very... I said, you see, well traveled. <laughs> Abraham, in the book of Genesis alone, no less than 12 places. It says, as for Ishmael, I have heard thee, God says. 12 princes shall he be gay, and I will make him a great nation, because he is thy seed. And again, as wish my son, and as wish my twelve, no less than twelve places. Forget, forget, forget. So, right? And if God Almighty calls Ishmael as the son and seed of Abraham, who are you to deny him that? So I said, if you are the son and seed of Abraham, and if the Arabs are the son and seed of Abraham, why don't you two live in peace and harmony as brothers and share the land? There's no need that you see. We had it under David and Solomon. You know, it was ours. I said, how did you get it, sir? You did get it? Where did it come from? You came from Egypt, they unified 12 tribes against these Palestinians, poor chaps, all village states, because in one day the Bible says you kill 30 kings. 30 kings in a day. 30 kingdoms you conquer. What it means is 30 little villages. Because these village chiefs, you know? So they are king. And you conquer 30 kingdoms in one day. What does it mean? It means you are a united people against this village, that village, that village. Mm -hmm. You bulldoze them all. So you got it by force. Does that entitle you to Palestine? If that is so, then I said, we are entitled to Spain. You know we ruled Spain for 800 years? The only thing that you can see in that country today, if you go, 
besides the bullfights and the castanets, that's the only thing the Spanish people can show you. The only other thing is Adi Alhamba, Cordova, who's that? My father, they built it there. <laughs> that monument still there. So I can go and claim and say, look, my father's built it. I've been ruled here for 800 years. Have we a right to claim the country? He says, no. I said, can the Dutch go back to Indonesia and say, look, we ruled it for 300 years. Portuguese ruled Mozambique for 500 years. Can they claim it that this is ours because our father ruled it for 500 years? He says, no. Then I said, no. <laughs> so he said, well, we possess it. Possession is ninth end of the law. I said, yeah. So you possess it by force. So they, by, by force, they have a right to take it away. But why, why it might be right. It might. Arabic or the Muslim world want that little piece of land that belongs to the No, it's a sentimental feeling. You see, if your father was buried there, if your father was buried there, your grandma was buried there, your child was buried there, your circumcised, the skin is buried there, he has a greater love and contact with that land than the guy in Russia. Damn it all, he didn't see the land, he doesn't know the uh, single Jewish word. This guy is living there and you kicked him out. Who will have a greater feeling for that land? You, if you have that feeling after 2000 years of being scattered, you have the feeling and you come back. This guy, you, you chased him out yesterday. He still has got all the nostalgia, the remembrance of all the fragrance and the smell around there. He wants it. <laughs> so you tell him, look at the world, the world is big. I said, look man, this is what I want, this is mine. And then I join you all. Yes, yes, please, go ahead. Yes, yes. Delighted to have you. Absolutely delighted to be here with our friends, to understand what the world means now. The world is going up a world. The lady talks on the last one. Can I talk to you? Can I have some interest? Can I ask one? 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 Not I love this one, I hate that one. The Western world is made to hate the Arabs, so now you're passing judgment on that. I hate the Americans, so I pass judgment on that. I said, no, 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 no. Let's sit down and say now, where is right? Who is in the right? Where justice lies? And I must be prepared to do justice. Whether it goes against me. Mm. But all those people that have um, a sense of belonging to that land, um, surely it's only a small portion of Not the Jews doesn't want to talk for all these years. You don't want to talk to the Palestinians. You think they're terrorists. And I'm asking, what are you begging? Hmm? And with Shamir, you are all ranked terrorists. Count Bernadette, who killed him? Those British soldiers, you know, who hang them in, in the public square. And what are you talking about? You know about terrorism. You are all terrorists. But the British government offered $48,000 uh, reward on begging. Begin, catch him dead or alive. Yeah, there he is. Yeah? So I don't know who's a terrorist. Isn't terrorism justified in order to gain what you're entitled to? That, not to the... No, no. I'm I posing a question. I don't uh, I want that answer. If I have... One more question. This is a spice yeah, sour milk. You got that for claiming that. May I try some? It is. Mm. What a good question to pose. <laughs> We could be here all day debating the answer to that one. I'm sorry I posed that. <laughs> no, when a person poses a question, see, I believe in the principle, if I pose a question, no mind how difficult it may be, I would have the answer. That means in the end I must supply you the answer. Otherwise it's mystic. I'm making mystic. I'm just trying to show how clever I am. You know? Got you. Riddles, riddles, riddles. I get create riddles for you and keep you busy. That's devilish. To me, that's devilish, you know. <laughs> Lawyers do that. <laughs> Not one of God. <laughs> we must find ways and means of uh, either pushing forward our case or defending ourselves yeah, in the yeah, other, yeah. other man's case. <laughs> yeah, I think that so the civilized man, the civilized man in every race, color, and creed must appreciate that there are innocents who are involved in terrorism, which is totally unforgivable. I, I cannot believe that you can kill children and there's a child sitting at this table to justify anything. Innocent bystanders. I don't care what it is. And uh, I think 
that anybody who promotes terrorism as such is doing a great, great wrong to the world and should be taught a lesson. That's what was codified, as I was saying, about it. Just terrorism directed at individuals or people outside of your territory or nothing at all, like attacking for, uh, airports and civilian targets and so on. That I don't support. Or a supermarket. Or but supposing I'm involved in the defense of my country. Supposing I'm involved in the defense of my country. In terms of modern equipment, I'm entitled to use whatever weapons I possess, I possess including chemical weapons for that matter. Yeah. But what is sacred about any weapon? <coughs> if it's war, all weapons are justifiable. So the yeah, entire process is really, if you like, a based on terrorism. You're going to terrify your, your enemies. Yes. That's what the Quran tells you. Terrify your weapons. So powerful that you terrify your enemies, it doesn't want to face you. What is this? What will your mean? But within that territory of where you have to defend your rights and promote your rights and protect your profit, your profit, protect your country, or take your country back. In that context that I use the word terrorism as a part of the same process of military activity in us. But no, you can't go in and bomb civilians and air force and captives and so on and murder them. That's out of question. What, what, what you're doing is, it, with, with the terrorists in the world today, it's the indiscriminate killing of people who are totally Not disassociated true. with your problem, Absolutely. merely to cause sensationalism, so that you advertise your cause. Mm. I mean, take the Olympic Games. Mm. That slaughter at the Olympic Games was unforgivable. Absolutely. Those athletes had nothing whatsoever to do with the cause, of, or any cause. They were there on a sporting venture and to slaughter them indiscriminately was it's unbelievably barbaric <laughs> that's all I can absolutely no, 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 never justify that on any ground I believe that terrorism directed at your enemy is fair and just if he's a soldier who's who, who, who is acknowledged that he's at war with you but to, to involve yeah. other people <coughs> And it's only in the last few years that that's ever happened, too. There have been innocent casualties, which, which are innocent casualties to inadvertently be in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's a different matter. But to go out and put a bomb in a shopping center in a Mansum Toti because something happened in the Middle East is, is unforgivable. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't justify the one. Yeah. And it, they're totally innocent people. They could even be your own child. You know, it could be your own child who's gone there shopping, and you could be blowing up your own child. This isn't a natural meal. I like yogurt. It's yogurt. It's splendid. Have you tried the yogurt? Yeah. 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 Yeah, do you believe the last is eternal? And I mean here, no, yes, yeah. we can. No, the but, spiritual last is eternal. Yes. Yes. We, we so what yeah. is the point in fighting and doing away with one of the other bodies if life is eternal? Yeah. Huh? So <laughs> the thing is now, we are all thinking in terms of, uh, the, I think the Christian and the Muslim and the Jew. We are all believing in the principle that this life is the only life that we have. That's right, and I mean, really this is the only life that we have. And, and that's this, is, this is Christianity propagates that. They, 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 they say that this is the only life. Right. Jesus and said correct. the last to be, to be conquered will be dead. The last enemy to be conquered will be dead. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, to me, it's so ridiculous to try to slaughter when you might be eternal. No, uh, that's the life hereafter, the soul carries on, good or bad. That's if right. you have done well, you will be rewarded, and if you have done wrong, you will be punished, purified. That's all, but now here at the moment, as in now, uh, I want to also live comfortable. Oh, so, we had, you know, conquest of nations, every nation going out of their way to find uh, territories, colonies for themselves. So, in that process, we are doing injustices against different, different people. Now, those people now, when they come to their senses, they want to rectify. 
this case. So in the process, now Mozambique, you know, the 10 years, you know, can't stay here in our own country, the guys have been throwing bombs and doing what and all that uh, problem in Southwest Africa, uh, on the borders, our sons are dying. So all this because of certain injustices. That's right. So but now... So land you put it down to, to, the, to the first law of human nature, which is self-preservation, which is causing all this? No, greed. The greed is making you to do injustice. Greed, because you, you want, you want to have God, your family, right, your home, right, your... At the expense of somebody else. That's right. You see, you see we are allowed, justified to protect ourselves. And reach ourselves by all means. By all means. But not at somebody else's expense. But until man realizes that he'll never be peace. Correct, correct, correct. Because we're just trying to outdo the other. Correct. Tell me, they want you. Tea. Who would like tea? Everybody would like tea. It's a good, strong English drink. Black tea. Black tea, yeah. Black tea. Black tea. Yeah, I'm thinking about Alright, that's fine. Tell me, Ahmed. Yes. The Islamic community in South Africa is divided up into what? How do you how do you I mean I hear there's someone in the Cape who's declared this holy war now. Right. Now is there someone in Natal who's equivalent or do you all have no, what no. is the hierarchy? How does it work? There's no hierarchy. There's no hierarchy. hierarchy. Everybody is for all no. because we have no bishops or popes. Yeah. Everybody, whatever he thinks, just stands up and says it. Right. So he's not speaking for the Islamic no, community no, no, as a whole. No, he no, can't. He's speaking for himself. Although he claims to. He might say the whole lot. Oh, everybody's with me. That's the impression that one has. Everybody's with me. But who is everybody you're talking about? Did you take a poll? Did you ask anybody any questions? No. Of his media family or something. We were discussing that earlier before lunch, and I think we all agreed that anybody who declares that, that must have some other motive for doing so. It doesn't, it, it may be either stirring up trouble or he has some other motive. But by no stretch of the way, there's an easier way yeah. of getting a guy involved. Mm. When you say holy. Yes, of course. Oh, yeah. so if I die, then you get the simple people who will just yeah. mock to you. So that that means I'm, 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 I'm right with God. Mm. That's that's what he said that, that he wasn't uh, a Muslim, or he, was, he wasn't a practicing Muslim. Muslim. Uh, that is, I think, to a great extent. That's true. And now what also at the moment, yeah. Muslim. At the moment we see him, you know. Now, now you see him as a practicing mm -hmm. Muslim. Okay. Perhaps it suits him. Mm. <laughs> mm. Too late. Mm. The slogan that they will find you. Yeah. Promote themselves. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And to make people say in the name of Christianity. People do use that. Yes. But they're not truly Christians. Yeah. Right. Hitler said something in the name of Christianity, but will they still Christian? You say, well, this is I'm doing in the name of Christianity. Because he was an Italian, or maybe <laughs> or a Catholic. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's he's God's not. name in vain. Yeah, so it's God's name in vain. Mm -hmm. So this is also taking God's name in vain. Right. Right. It's obvious. Yeah. obvious to encourage yeah. as many people to yeah. join him as possible. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> the issue of as important as this what if we had a single Muslim body mm. with all the leading intellectuals, historians and the learned men in the religious sense getting together and debating this issue, coming to a unanimous decision, yeah. then promulgating that decision, then you'll be a few yeah. 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 But I mean if he left the way now the walk I was thinking of this situation from many perceptions. For example, a Muslim, if he's engaged in a holy war, when he's armed properly or not properly, he's to fight. He's to fight and he's not allowed to retreat. Am I right? No, there are times when you can retreat. With the idea that you will come back. 
Did you know, in the British Army, there's no such give up. thing as retreat. It's known as a strategic withdrawal. Right. <laughs> retreat in the sense that you're now running away from the battle. No, we don't run from the battle of truth. Yeah, we don't run. We don't, yeah, we don't run away from the battle. In that sense, yeah. our English language is very yeah. strategic yeah. withdrawal. You could come away as the next truck for us. <laughs> we really enjoy that. <laughs> You were withdrawing. He's now trying to make this a holy war. If it was so, the Saddam maybe say, well, I can't really talk peace now. You know, he's engaged in a holy war. He's going to defend Islam as it were. He's be all in it. He'll probably get a whole half of the Muslim world joining him. You know, can't make it into holy war when it's not a holy war. It's an unholy war, actually. Mm -hmm. And holy war. And it's very nice. Destroy all opposition. Absolute tyrannical rule. You dare say something that he thinks is against his government, like in Iraq. And that way is eliminated hundreds of well, you like some music. Are you all drinking tap? Because you've got to watch your diet. Then. <laughs> now I'm posing as the martyr, as it were. Well, it's a lot of people who are also supporting them. So <laughs> Thank you. You know, I'm going to say you're cooking this by occasion. Ha, ha, baba. Okay. <laughs> Yes. She calls me Papa. Okay. And she calls her father Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so you can make a big mistake when, she, when you come home. Mm. He says, uh, Where's your. Where's Papa? Where's Papa? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, says, Papa is not there. That's and you're uh, thinking about her daddy. Mm -hmm. And the guy comes out. He's not there. Yeah. Yeah, she's lying. And you're still not there. Every foot. Papa in an embarrassing position. <laughs> <laughs> he could do it sometimes, yeah. I saw Papa had so and so's answer. He is doing away with the person's right to to think for himself. You are programming him, you're conditioning him. And and really, I'm not in total agreement that everybody should be programmed. I think the right of the individual is, is paramount. If I, want, I, I will think anything I want to think, even though... I've been programmed from childhood to do certain things, right. uh, and I, I will do those automatically. No, 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 what has happened is, whatever Paul is talking now, he's programmed with all that. People have been talking, talking, you know, that look, we must have the freedom. He is programmed. Yeah, program. We are all programmed. All conditions. <laughs> this, if you say, some, somebody is doing it to you all the time. When you look at the Edwards, what are they doing to you? Yeah. Programming you. When you want to buy, what toothpaste you going to buy? Why call game? Yeah, they, they also had some little advertising. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. So, no, you say that's unfair. Now, that we say, now look, he's now, he's like a magic. He's like black magic. So he said, no, no, we won't allow that. But normally, every time a person opens his mouth, he knows she. What are you doing? Why did you open your mouth? When you open your mouth, try to tell me something. You, do? you want me to accept your point of view? No? No, 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 that's purpose, that's purpose. You see, you're not conscious, but you, know, said, you see, in the Bible, you know, the Jews, you were programmed. Can you see that? You were programmed. You, not for the purpose of, look, I'm programming you. You know, you must see this. No, 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 you heard the thing. You said, right, you accepted that, the Jews, you know, Palestine, you know, the Jews. Right. So now this other guy that comes along, he says, it belongs to me. At the back of the mind, that these vagabonds, you know, these barbarians, they're trying to uh, snatch away the, the land from the Jews. God has given it to them, they have the title deed, and these guys won't see it. So, we are programmed. So, I'm, I'm programmed, I'm also programmed, but now it's a matter of let us see if we can. We are mature people now. But you correctly have correct Alice's point of view. Correct, correct. You say we are mature people now. I say, all right, now let's see your, I want to hear your case. I want to hear your case. Then I said, no, madam, look, but most people there. who say that don't want to hear your case. Correct, correct. <laughs> they merely want to be able to prove to you that you're wrong. Correct, correct. <laughs> Do you agree that if you are talking truth, you, truth, you cannot talk truth. You cannot express truth. 
The moment you start expressing anything, you are then using your conditioning to express what you say. No, we are given. For example, Jesus said, Seek ye the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Yes, what is truth? Truth no. will be found within you. No, no, no. That what is found within you is your conditioning. You see, the kingdom of heaven is within you. Right. That means it, that's a different thing that happens now. What is coming out from you is your programming. You see, the South Sea Islander, the head hunter, his conscience doesn't prick him when he chops off your head and tries to shrink your skull. Does it? No, it doesn't. Why? <coughs> it's programmed. So his conscience tells him there's nothing wrong with it. Am I right? Paul, Neil, Neil, he marries and gets another wife. Another woman. He better not. His conscience will prick him. You promised you wouldn't his, tell them. <laughs> his, his conscience will prick him. Your mother wife would never conscience. No, no, his, you see, the thing is, let's say, <laughs> circumstances, <laughs> something <laughs> happened, a compromise, and then uh, away, he, he has, uh, you know, taken another wife on the slide, and, you know, he's supplying her needs as well. And at the back of it, he's feeling guilty about it. There's, the guilt is there. He doesn't want people to know. He doesn't want you to know. He doesn't want his friend to know. Nobody wants him to know. That means he's feeling guilty about what he's doing. Me, I don't feel guilty. You see, if I take two or three or four, because my religion says, no, it's not the same. That's right. You eat the pig, you don't feel guilty. If I eat pork, I feel guilty. That's your program. <laughs> That's program. Right. right? So now, I said, no, it's coming from the inside. You know, pork. How can you eat pork? I said, look, you can cultivate. Moradi Desai, the, the Prime Minister of the largest democracy in the world, India, Moradi Desai, he was taking his own urine, six to eight times every day. Oh, uh, hmm? uh, you heard that? I got, on the TV, though. On, on the Newsweek. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 the Alan Mauritius when I saw the whole thing. He says, he says, it's good for cataract and it's good for tuberculosis. He said, he, he, he told his brother, brother his cousin, cousin uh, you know, self-urine, self you self call it self-urine. And he says, cured him of his tuberculosis. And he says, you Christians? He said, you must also drink your own urine. You know why? Because the Bible says so. And he quotes. No, no, listen. You see, now this is what you can do anything. You can you know, mislead yourself. And he says, he quotes the Bible. He said, the Bible says, and he just said, look at that. He said, drink water from your own system. No. He said, what is system? <laughs> system means bladder. Make your own peace. <laughs> now you see, look, the guy believes it. Look, the guy believes it. Yes. Right? He's programmed. He's brainwashed. The, South, the Eskimo. You know, the greatest act of charity, compassion he can show to his guest and is to offer his life. Hmm? And he's insulted and, if you don't take it. Right. So, but now, you, you, look, at my, you look at my wife. You know, we can't get I can see <laughs> that poison in your eyes. I want to take your eyes out. I feel like taking out me for John's eyes out. You know, you look like that. No, I don't know. I don't feel like killing you. No, program. But now we are all getting programmed, right or wrong. So we need the right data material. You need material for programming, but it must be the right data material. Now, how do we know what is right? That is the question. We need programming. We have to program our children. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Is there anything wrong with that? Thou shalt not commit thy neighbor's wife. What's wrong with that? Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not kill. These are programming. You don't want your child to be programmed with that? Then there's something wrong with you. Am I correct, Naman? You got to program. Yeah, but now. A free thinking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, very, from very. <laughs> we got to try and program everybody into that. What is objective law? Driving on the right side, side of the road, we are on program. 60 miles and uh, 60 kilometers an hour in a built-up area, you are program. Don't cross a barrier line, you are program. Is there anything wrong with that? Yeah, these are simple no, rules. No, of no, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Like what right, right, right. So now here we see that's our objective laws, the laws that we give to us. The injunction is you must know the truth. You individually must know the truth. The truth is not collectively as a people, but you individually must know the truth. Yes, but now everybody, if you leave it to him, adultery is it right or wrong? He said, look, the willing man and the willing woman, man, who the hell are you to come in between? Yeah. Uh, uh, a sodomy, is it right or wrong? He said, well, the grown-up young man and the grown-up another young man, what, why are you coming in the way? 
So no, you need objective law. Yeah. No, no, where do you get that? No, you see, so the, passed down from generation to generation. No, no, that can also be wrong. No, no, passed on from generation to generation can also be wrong. Like my Hindu cousins. You see, for 5,000 years now, they said my eating of beef is wrong. Right? So, and I said, now, they love all our system. I said, look, these are all our cleverness. It's coming from inside. The African, he reasons in a beautiful logic. He said, this daughter of mine, I brought her up. I educated her. Medical care, clothing, and I brought her up. And she is now ready for marriage. Now, this young man comes along to marry her. And I said, right, okay, with my blessings. And he's going to work her to death. You know, she's got something for nothing. And he won't care for it. So I want to put a price on her that this guy will look after that because it's valuable. So I said, 11 cows. <laughs> right? For my daughter, 11 cows. So now, if you fall sick, he's worried. He said, I lose my 11 cows. <laughs> you can't get another one in a hurry. He needs another 11 cows. So he's going to look after her. Anything wrong with that logic? Yeah. Not beautiful. Yeah. Not beautiful. You see, man, this is the cleverness of man. Man is clever. He's ingenious. So he creates all this protection. Beauty. But now, that beautiful idea of yours created a problem. You see, now you cultivated that now. Eleven cows for my daughter. Eleven cows. Everybody says eleven cows. So more daughters I have, the richer I am. So I like it, now, but John wants to marry my daughter, but he hasn't got eleven cows. So I said, all right, you can have her on credit. You see, but the children are mine. This is my field. You can cultivate and you can plant the seed, but the house is mine. Okay? <laughs> so go ahead. So every African home, there are illegitimate children. You go. I have no visiting. You see. You go to the houses. Ubi Baba Wake. Where is this child's father? It's says, Amlas. I don't know. Oh, no. Where is Baba Wake? Where is his father? This is Balagiri. He ran away. Almost every home has an illegitimate child. Because that beautiful system today has created a problem. There are six million Zulus, at least. Forget the Tazas. Forget the Tazas. Six million Zulus. Out of that half a million females, I mean half of that, three million females, out of that one million males, marriageable age, they want 11 million cows. <laughs> Where the hell are you going to get 11 million cows? <laughs> you see, the system was a beautiful system. <clears throat> but it has claimed like a shangri In <laughs> India, my own people now. You see, the people, the Aryan invasion of India just took place. My ancestors, they invaded India. We are not actual natives of India. We are today natives of India. We are Indians. I can't say anything else. I mean, Indian. but 5,000 years ago, we were not Indians. We had invaded India from the outside, like you invaded this country. Where did you come from? From the Middle East, Iraq. Iraq? Yes. Are you an Iraqi? <laughs> 5,000 years ago. He comes from Stanger. <laughs> <laughs> There were certain Indo-Germanic tribes yeah. in what we call Mesopotamia, or Iraq and yeah. Iran and all that. <laughs> so the grazing ground was getting too tight for them, so they started moving out. Yeah. One went north, one came south to the Khyber Pass into India, one remained. The one went that north are the Germans. They said, we are the Aryans, the master race. You heard that before? Yeah. Right, right. They said, they are not like these other European the Slavs. We are the Aryans, the master race. The ex Shah of Iran, his real title was Arya Mahar, means the light of the Aryans. Mm -hmm. They say they are the Aryans. The Arabs say these are not Arabs. You see, they are the Aryans. Mm -hmm. no, that's there, the blood. My people in India were not Muslims. They say we are the Aryans. So that's the truth of No, 5,000 years. We were one people. But 5,000 years of intermarriage with the Nordic people and the climate and the diet made the Germans what they are. 5,000 years of intermarriage with the Indian people and the climate and the diet made her what we are. The Iranian is the nearest to what a true Aryan ought to be. But there is a common denominator between the Germans, the Iranians and my people. You see, but that's 5,000 years ago. Now when we invaded India, we found the Brahman cows. What do you see on the way to Maxwell? You know the Brahman <laughs> To us, we do this. You know, when you look at them, it makes our mouth water. <laughs> so we came into India and we were meat eaters, all of us. So we wanted to eat up. So he says, no, our wise man says, no, man, we must save this animal. How? We don't talk about pedigree cows. What they <laughs> <laughs> right. So he said, what are the 
See, she gives us milk. From that we get our butter and our our yogurt and our ghee and even the cow dung makes such wonderful compost better than any fertilizer that you can buy. So, do you eat your mother? She says, no. We look after her. Hmm, Programming. Beautiful. We did that. Beautiful programming that after 5,000 years we have saved the cow in India. But India has the highest number of cattle population in the world. But little Denmark produces more milk and butter than the whole of India. Put together. <laughs> Why? Oh, God knows the thing. <laughs> no, 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 no. You see, Denmark looks after its cows, good breed of cows, and they feed it and they get the return. In India, there's not even grazing ground. Yeah. So it has become a plague of cows. Mm. Now you see, and your cleverness. See, man's cleverness. He's no bowler, your cleverness. Your protecting on the cow, your cleverness. Mm. So, so they should bring what? the cows from India and give them to the Africans who then can buy their wives. <laughs> you solved the problem. <laughs> Nine million <laughs> cows. <laughs> so now what do you do? Therefore, we say we need somebody who will give us an objective value. And the only being who can give you that time for is God. If it is from God. That law is not partial. It's not this is for the Jew, that the Jews may have built all the other nations. Or this is for the European, or this is for the African. Mm. He gives you a law. Now look at that law, like the, road, the rules of the road. It's an objective. 20 kilograms only you can carry in the plane. Objective. You know, previously 40 pounds in the train. Objective. So how you are, you are saying, I can see this logic. It's not made to discriminate against me or you or anybody. Similarly, we must get a law from God. And first thing now we must find out whether this is from God or not. Like this everybody claims. Everybody says this is my book, this is from God, this one says from God. Now we have to find out whether we have to now sit back and say, now let's see now whether this is from God or not. Or this is your own fancy. Your own imagination, your own prejudice. So once we come to that realization that this is from God, then we submit. Then we find wholehearted submission. No motives. For example, I had a problem, Swaziland, King Sugusa, he was still alive, his wife died, his eldest wife, she died, and there was a controversy in the country. How long is a man to wait before he can remarry? That's a controversy. His wife died, so they want to know how long must he wait before he can get another wife. Soon that problem, question, changed to how long should a woman to wait? Because he said, look, he's got still eight more wives. So it's not a problem with that you worried about. But suppose that the man died, if the king had died his wives, how long were they doing? Right, yes. All right. So controversy in the country. <laughs> so the king, you know, the churches, the churches, you know, there's a going on like what with jihad or no jihad. Same type of thing started there. How long? So uh, he called up a synod of all the African churches. You know, the Jehovah's Witnesses, them. Uh, seven day Adventist and Presbyterian and the whole lot come. I want you guys to come and sit and talk. Very good idea. So there was a Swazi. She had become a Muslim. So he calls me, he said, Look, my church also is like the king. My church is Islam. So I want my man also to come. So he calls me, so I also go down. It's in the king's cross, they're sitting there in the grass. From morning till five. Things are going on. Guy comes forward, each and every African is a miracle hand, potentially. Or Jimmy Swagger, everyone. <laughs> they are master orators, natural orators. So the guy comes along and uh, uh, he says something and everybody applauds. Pray. Next guy comes along, he says, Polish. What do you say in Spanish? Polish. 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 Garbage. 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 And he makes his point and everybody says, hey, 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 hey. Another guy comes along. He says, what do you This is Polish. This is Polish. And he makes the point and everybody says, hey, hey, hey. Shhh. It lasts at 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. No, no lunch. No tea. Nothing. You just sit in the grass and you look at You carry on. Hmm? They don't know about all this. Uh, you know, this is your guest now. You know, you must give them tea by tea. <laughs> give them lunch. <laughs> you will just carry on. I don't need to uh, myself. Five o'clock, my turn come. Five o'clock, at the end of the day. End of the day. Yeah. So I tell them, I says, you know, 
from morning till now, we haven't got the solution. I said, you know why we haven't got the solution? I said, because we're quoting the Old Testament and we're quoting the New Testament. We're quoting the New Testament and we're quoting the Old Testament. I said, but the answer is not there. You know, this is your cleverness. Your, your own intellectual history, you know, you're putting forth your own ideas. I said, the answer to this problem is in the last testament. You heard of this? I said, chapter 2, verse 200. I opened the book. Last testament. What does it say? It says, if any of you die, maybe you do they should wait concerning themselves four months and ten days. Answer straight. You don't have to wake your brains. Four months and ten days. But we will say, well, look, what's miraculous about that? What's wonderful about that? Anybody could have guessed. Come on, come on, we all guessed. You said, you said four months, then you said four and a half, then you said four months. Any, some clever man might have guessed. So Muhammad was a clever man. He made a guess and we think four it's not four minutes and ten days. We accept, you see. But it's just, this, what is it there to show us that it's from God? Any clever man could have guessed such a thing. I said, no, that is correct. Any clever man could have guessed. But as I showed you, carry on. It, it says that you can make, that to the video, four months and ten days. Why four months and ten days? It tells us, the same book says, for divorcee, three months. You have a right to be married after three months. But in three months time you find out whether you're carrying or not. So, so now she's clear, said, right, you want to marry? Marry. Doesn't say you must, but you have a right now. But for a widow, four months and ten days. Why four months and ten days? I'll tell you this. I said, look, this woman, she's just lost her husband. Oh, dying to know. Oh, oh, oh. She's just lost her husband. All right? All right. So it says that you can make an offer of betrothal to her. My sister-in-law, uh, she's a widow, and she doesn't know what's going to happen to her, who's going to look after her, her children, and she can't pay the rent. So I go to her, I said, look, sister-in-law, don't worry. I'll look after you and your children. I will marry you. So I can make an offer to assuage her fears, or I can keep it in my heart. I said, look, when the period is over, I will propose. The book says, you can make the uh, offer of proposal, or you can keep it in your heart. But do not enter into a contract until the period is over. Aha. Uh -huh. I said, no, that is not Muhammad's cleverness. The rest you can say, man was a very clever man, you know, a very great philosopher. He says, don't enter into a contract with her. Why? Because she is upset in an emotional Right. No, no. Then I propose to show. <laughs> well, I'm so happy you could be that. You know. I said, you don't mind me. No, not at all. Think, ma'am. She's got something. So I called the priest. Says, Look, she's agreeable. I tie her up. Now, the order for the party. I said, no, no, don't worry. I married Mr. Lee. So what? That guy. You know, he used to beat his wife. You know, he couldn't feed the children. Then we called what have you done? You know, what was the bloody hurry? Too late, madam. It's too late now. You are in <laughs> Now the creator knows. I might take advantage of your emotional upset. So I said, no, this is not Muhammad's cleverness. 1,400 years ago in the desert, the man is telling her, do not enter into a contract until the period is over. So giving her an extra time, more than three months, to come to a kind of mental balance. And you, in the meantime, you can suggest to her, she can start talking, saying, we have to So at that time, you you know, you're going to die. You know, so, <laughs> no, you have to see your own God. So I said, like that, like that, everything. This book now tells you anything, everything. You reason, he says, no, this is not Muhammad's cleverness. This is not Muhammad's cleverness. So where did he get it? So I asked him, hey, where did he get it? He says, it's given to me by inspiration. And when you look at the book, the book itself tells you that this is not his. The whole was one year. I'll be giving to you. In that vast volume, 2,000 pages, you will not find the name of Muhammad's father. His mother's name is not there. His wife's name is not there. His daughter's name is not there. Where he is born is not there. Where he died is not there. What kind of a book is that? A man writes a book. I write a book. My father's name, my mother's name, my wife's name, my daughter's name, my companions, nobody is there. What kind of a book is this? His birth is not there, but the birth of Jesus is whole chapter is there, name after the mother of Jesus. I think that grace of God is a letter of Jesus. 
time for us ourselves to believe that it could be a virgin birth. It's got to be a man and a woman. See, now that's a different. Yeah. But now here, this is the only book, non-Christian book, which makes it an article of faith for its followers to believe in Jesus. Why? When the Jews made a mockery of Jesus and his mother, you see, they said, he is the illegitimate child of Mary. The Roman soldier raped Mary, and that illegitimate offspring gave it off as the Son of God. That's what the Jews say. The Christian says, no, because he's got no father, his father is God. The Muslim is made to say, no, he's neither this nor that. So what is he? Cool. Say, tell them to the Jews and the Christian. Ya Ahlul Kitab, say, O oh, people of the book, both Jews and Christians, both of you. La taghlu fi dinikum. He said, do not go to extremes in your religion. Wa la taqulu ala la illa al haq. And don't say anything about God except the truth. Inna mal masih, who certainly the Messiah, translated in Christ. Inna mal masih, who is Ibn Maryam, Jesus the son of Mary, Rasulullah, is a messenger of Allah, messenger of God. وَقَلِمَتُهُ and a word proceeding from him أَلْقَاهَا إِلَىٰ مَرْيَمُ وَرُوْهُمْ مِنْهُمْ which he bestowed upon Mary and a spirit proceeding from him فَآمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرُسُلِهِ so believe in Allah God Almighty and his messenger Jesus now I said come in any objective this thing I said look this group here said he is the begotten son of God this one says he is the illegitimate child of Mary this guy he says Muslim says he says, no, he is neither this nor that, but he is a true messenger of God. Love him, respect him, revere him, follow him. But yeah, don't worship him. Now, <laughs> I said, now come and tell me, why would Muhammad take such a stand? The easier thing was, <coughs> the easiest thing, from the worldly point of view. You come along and tell me that this Jewish girl had a child without any male intervention. You see, yes. I says, my dad, if your mother in the absence of your father's gone for a long time. And she said she had a dream when she was carrying this child. That's what she's going to give her to. You believe your mom? <laughs> and your own daughter, you know she never lied in her life as far as you know. She's telling you, she says, Ma, I heard some voices when I'm carrying a baby. You believe her? So how do you believe this Jewish girl 2,000 years ago that says she heard voices and you said, I make a mockery of you. I said, but no. That's the easiest way. There is no better way to fight than Sarcasm. Oh. Yes. What are you talking, madam? <laughs> you, know, you believe that? Really shake you believe that? Amen. Just one point. Yes. What happened at this meeting? You haven't told us at the end. Of what it. meeting? Oh. With all of the, the Africans there, and you were sitting down. Oh. And oh. <laughs> no, they all want to know where can we get this last question. <laughs> no, oh, but they, did they accept oh, yes. the four months? No, they, no, they can see that. Here they, they accepted no, the four no, months, ten months. Accept or you don't. Here is a book that gives you the answer. Mm. Mr. Beer tells me, says, be that. All this what you're telling me, I want you to write it down and I'll publish it in a Temple David magazine. Mm. I said, Mr. Beer, I can't write. And it's even today, though I have written many books after that, booklets. Mm. But uh, in my heart and mind, that's the most difficult job, to write. Talking to me, in the second nature. <laughs> Comes <Yes>. easily. There's <laughs> not anything anywhere I can take and it seems to fit in. <laughs> but the writing, I've got to see, I've got to create a connection yeah. and some logical connection I can, it's an audience. You would make an admirable <laughs> member of our sales team. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to borrow it. No, no, no. We just started, you see. We had to start off from the basic. What are you doing at present? I'm working for a company called Bob Larson Silicones. What do they do? We supply furniture fittings, all the handhold hinges to all the manufacturers. So I've been in that for about eight years. That team that uh, they just left now. I know that they just saw them. So they blocked off the parking. Rumor has now started that 
he did have bodyguards coming in. That's why the parking was blocked off. But not, not one person has come and said, now, what's going on down here? You know, mm -hmm. don't know. These people have arranged it directly. The human, human mind. Human mind. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, Bashir Banya left uh, him now. Yeah, he's gone on his own. What is it? I don't know. In fact, I asked him. He told me his mother is sick and he's going to be there with his mother. But I don't know where he wants to be. sitting 24 hours a day with his mother yeah. to do what? Well, he's gone back to Joburg now. But I don't know. Right. So his mother is in Joburg? Yeah, his mother is in Joburg. Uh -huh. so I told him, look, bring your mother down. We'll pay for the flat. Right, right, right. 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 And he says, no, no, you know, he wants to go back. So anyway, he's gone back. And I think some other organization must have offered him. Maybe. That's brother of mine. Abdullah, you see. Uh, this, he seemed to have received some money from somebody. My brother Abdullah. Because my other brother advertised in the Sunday Times. Anybody wants money, you know, for any propagation work, contact me. So I must have told him, said, look, man, come and join us at the Missionary Society. Most probably, now, it's possibly. not the Missionary Society can't afford. Right. But somebody can say, I'll pay for his wages. Mm -hmm. right? Uh, you keep him here instead of there. So, because these guys, you guys, you are becoming more sympathetic towards us. So, break that. So, you know, uh, your main man yeah. uh, to go along and propagate you know, our work. He's taken away, the kingpin. Yeah. This is shaitaniyat of the highest order, but we won't pass that. Man. It can't take long because he can't live on fresh air. Yeah, no, because he, you see, he kept such a open this thing. He says, look, I may be come back in a month's time. You know, he's telling me like that. So he says, don't take anybody on right now. I mean, we can't find anybody to do this. It's just like that. Yeah. Yes, Ben Fozia. I think you got cut off yesterday. No, I don't know what happened really. Yes, there was another phone came on and I don't know what was happening. No, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> if I see the thing, you know, if you fax it to me, so why I might be able to give you some comments. There are other distinct Right, if you fax that to me. No, no, no. no. I must see it with, with my own eyes before I comment. Mm -hmm. No good. I must see the thing with my own eyes. No good, no good, no good. I must have the thing in front of me that I know what I did. What I No, 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 that's not my That's not my cue. Your deadline is not my problem. No. I must see it with my own eyes. That day, call the Muslim. The Muslim Ulama. They are planning 10,000, a force of 10,000 to go to the junction. Yes, there was a... Marriage. I must see it. Yes. No, As we need to, as a no good. No, I must see it. I will not answer my life. Now, we learn. We are learning. It doesn't pay. It doesn't pay. But I will go to the junction. No. Yeah. No, because because when you are seeing the thing, is something else. Because then somebody telling you... Yes, I heard the news. The news my was. wife heard the news and she heard a figure of 40,000. Not 10. She's already helping. That's a good thing. Who's the majlis? So they That's what she said now. If it is that majlis or for the for less birth, who chair, who need, come chair. Let's have it here. Your deadline. To hell with your bloody deadline. So why must we cooperate with you for your deadline? No, we will cooperate, but you no, will no. cooperate. That's That's mean, I'm going to do it in it. No, you got a deadline, then stop, get off the phone and send the information immediately. Right. And we give you an answer right. immediately. Right. The more you talk about it. Right. Now, I, I heard that uh, they, they want a meeting with Mr. Dickler to arrange for these 40,000 people to go inside with Iran. Mashallah, I'm saying, Mashallah, you don't need a meeting with Dikla right. because you can you go straight understand. to Pakistan yeah. right. or India straight away. Straight. You don't need visa, nothing. Right. Right. Alhamdulillah, they shouldn't even be gathering and wasting time. They need right. it in Iran, straight away you go. Well, yeah, I don't know what meeting they have for the government. Oh, yeah, they, well, say they, only say they say they want a meeting so that they can arrange for these people to be dropped off at a friendly country and they will go and fight. So you can go straight away. There's no visa problem. Yeah, to, to, Pakistan. Iran. to Iran. Go to yeah. Iran. The right. closest country is Iran. But what I'm saying, you, we have links. You can open a second front against, against, the, uh, the, against the Americans. Yeah. From, Iran. Yes. from Iran. Go right. to Iran. Uh -huh. Thousands. Right. Each person is entitled to his opinion right. and it's good to see people, right. rightly or wrongly, right. are able to match their words with action. Very from good. Iran. Very good. Even to carry dead bodies, they need people to transport 
dead bodies and all that. Even if they are wrong, it's good to see that people are matching, can match their words with action, alhamdulillah. And an easier way, we are recommending, don't wait for the meeting. You don't, as a, as a Muslim, as an Indian Muslim, we don't have visa problems to go right now to Pakistan. No, and, and the visa man, people are there in Johannesburg. You got Abdullah Dida, you got the Iran uh, intersection there. Right. They would issue the 10,000 with visas to enter Iran without question. You don't need Bata or FW declared. But that you still have to go and apply for visa. If you go Pakistan or India, you get on a plane and go. But Iran is closest. Closest. And, the they, say, and they say some of his uh, fighter planes are in Iran. They said some of his fighter planes Iraq. are in Iran. Iraq. Iraq are in Iran. There might be some deal he must have made. You know what I mean? We don't know. But, that, but Iran is, uh, plays a very important key. He says it's not a holy war. So it is an armor, I don't care. But possibly I bought those planes. You start bombing those planes, you know, just war with me now. Possibly I bought the plane. So you don't know what internal deal I made. So that guy doesn't know. The Americans just can't go and bomb the plane. That's Iraqi plane, eh? No, they can't go into Iran and bomb. They can't go into Iran. Or whatever, you can't, yeah. you can't go but you can't say to the guy that this, this, this plane in Iraq now belongs to Iranian, you can't bomb. That's a different story. But uh, he is wise to send it off to Iraq. He sent some of it to All over the show, he said. He might wake up tomorrow and say from all sides, bomb. Iran might be interested. He said, look, I haven't got enough of it. You know, we have something here. When you start, I'll tell you when. You are there. Them as well. You hate the Americans. Right. And Saudis. Right. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. You're right. Ma'ar Ro. Right, we'll cut it off. Share it. If you win, you take all that portion and I'll take this. No, they, they say possibly we'll, we'll never win. But we'll give them a battle of their mothers. They're giving them a battle. At the moment, it's not really. It's not really. Uh, oh, if you really look at in between the lines what they're saying on TV, they're giving them their money's worth. They ought, to have, they ought to have given it to the Israelis. Yeah. And they, Before this even started. I mean, now nah, it's too late. This guy's got all those uh, Patriot missiles now. Mm. The son of two Mughal are a million Ramu no yeah, yeah. shell. And that guy blows it out in the sky. He blows it out in the sky. Mm. Why did you wait? If you could have blasted it's half a million. Israel. A million then a shell. Mm. One and a half million. And now each. Typical what you said the other day on the thing, men and machines straight onto the field. Mm. They a lifted those Patriot missiles and got Americans manning it because right. the Israelis still don't even know how to man it. Right. So again, so oh, you got caught out, man. Again, you have strengthened the, the cause of the Jews. Jews. Well, the Americans won't take them back. No, they said, they, they said that the American uh, uh, people operating it will uh, handle them the once the Israelis right. have tried. Right. And they haven't uh, revealed how many, but they have revealed that they have airflated them. And they're already in operation. And they leave them behind. And they're going to leave them behind. Yeah. No, no, they can't take them back. You're sending the devil back. Mm. Like, what do you want? Qurans? How many thousand Qurans do you want? All about two thousand. You're sending the devil back. Ten thousand. Ten thousand Qurans. How much is it? Make a deal. How much are the charges? How much? What's the normal charge? Normal is five grand, right? So, what's the normal charge? You want to If you pick it up. I can't pick it up. Then, now, uh, because I'm sending it by road freight. Okay. You know what it's costing? <laughs> you get the guy printed in words. No, I know it's costing a packet. How much? How much? How much? Guess, guess, guess. How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? We'll book a million with you. Two ran a Quran. We'll book no, a million. Two million, million ran a Quran. It's just a flip to ran a Quran. No, what's the cost of printing it? No, printing I know it's hello much. Printing, you can't print that for 20 years. Look, I, I want to see that invoice, man, for our uh, internet, the Quran. All right. I want to see the invoice and then I want the photo scan. All right. I want to see the invoice first. All right. This one here is costing us 2670. Yeah. We sell for 15. Mm. It's costing there at the printers. Then what about handling it? What about storing it? Mm. What about Ahana Mahasa Kamkar the moon? Is all cost going on on top of it? Mm. Twenty-six seventy. It cost me within the pack to print a hundred thousand, mm. and I said fifteen lakhs. And when you buy for fifteen, I kiss your hand. You know, Farhad, thank you very much, man. Thanks to Quran, little mara baide. Every Quran you buying, I'm giving you sixteen. Huh? That's about fifteen lakhs.
Quran. Gonzala. Gift. You know the people want Qurans. They phone you from Pretoria and everywhere. They say Farad hasn't got Quran. I haven't got Quran. Look, 3,000 is doing last month, right? Oh, not one, I haven't got one, I can say that because I got one Quran. Yes, sir. Yeah, must move it. You see, this is service to Islam, what you're doing now. Suppose you don't make anything. What better service can you do than to give Allah's kalam to people? Because even if you use any kind of high-pressure salesmanship, you get in the Quran into people's homes, what have you done? Yeah. Service to Islam. Okay, the guy who bought it, the old man, if he doesn't read it, then put it up, put it watch it. Yeah, no, sir. And then he might be engaged to give away to somebody who is interested. Blessings, blessings. Yeah. This is service to Islam. What do you say for that? Pachan. Pachan. Pachan is 150 for the Islamic school immediately. Which one? Remember I told you that Islam started already. Who is the... Uh, PMT has uh, opened up the Islamic school. The Victoria Memon boys are the rich millionaires, man. Yeah. I mean, they're not able to steal their brains. Look. The way I did it. You got to steal people's brains. These Qurans, you don't give away for nothing. You get your money back. How do you get your money back? You got to go and tell the guy. He says, you know, look at the children here. You know, they should have these Qurans. You'll improve their English. They'll have the knowledge of Islam, Allah's Kalam, guided by it. And there are so many students. We would like you to subsidize this book here, 2,000 pages in encyclopedia. Buy some of those uh, boys, this comic critic, Ali, here, Cartoon Barton, some books you get in the hypermarket, five runs and six runs, for about 20, 30 pages. Buy one. Let's say, look, for my son, I paid this for this little thing here, 20 pages. How much? With sales tax, six runs. Hmm? This 2,000 pages, five runs. The only thing we should give to our children, five pounds each, is not from the Zakat, you need that. Pay for it. Right? right. I want you to pay how many, how many students there? Five hundred. He said, no, I can only pay hundred, so I will give you. Hundred from your side, eleven will go in. Another guy, he said, look, four hundred or five hundred. Still, balance. We want you to pay from your Zakat. This is what you want to do. In no time, you got the money back, and you go and give. You're still getting the name, you know. You, you want to go and deliver it yourself? He said, look, I come and deliver it to you. You go and hand it over. But if you want me to handle it, I'll handle it. But now this can cost us. They're subsidizing. You show the invoices. Cost those guys 16 pounds. Plus GST. Yes, yeah. I'm here. Mr. Mayor? Yeah? Call for you from Lady Smith's brother. Okay, put it in my side. Right. So, you see, there is an art. Now, I can do the job, but I'm passing on how. How I... You see, at one stage, in my early beginnings, Qatar promised me 20,000 grams from Singapore. I needed Quran very urgently. So they had some, I said, send it by air. Do that here? Yes. Yes, was there. Yes. I don't know what's happening. Yes. So, oh, this morning, oh, you mean the Mercury? No, no, I've got no time to look for the daily news. I'll be seeing, reading it this evening. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. They haven't approached me yet. Yeah. No. But you see, the, the problem is the problem of security. You know, people, we are, we are thinking, because somebody did approach me, but not the government. Somebody did approach me. And he says, now, if the people can be flown to Cairo and to London or Paris, why can't, it be, why can't they be flown to Nairobi? Because the Saudi airlines were coming as far as Nairobi. Right. Why not Nairobi? And this is a safer area than Cairo from the, from the battle zone. But now we are not looking at another aspect. You see, Cairo is allied to Saudi Arabia. 
in this coalition. 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 They are allied. So in other words, now the planes in Cairo will be protected by the government. And in London also there is this with the same coalition. They will be protected. But in Nairobi, you know, uh, any terrorist, you know, if there is such a thing as what they have been threatening all over the world, well, they can be easily bombed in Nairobi. So the men saw the point straight away. So though it is further away from the battle zone, but it is easier for people to attack their planes than, uh, than in London or in Cairo. Now, we didn't see that before. So that's how the ordinary mind thinks. So look, it's far away from the battle zone, man. Why not here? So this is the problem. That side. And, and they're not discriminating. So no, the South Africans can't use it. There's no such thing. Anybody, anyone who wants to take advantage of going to Cairo and finding their way home, or going to London and finding their way home, they have liberty to do so. That's, that's so we should ask them, but well, maybe it's a money. You know, it's extra charges, extra insurance, so the ticket price goes up and all that. But you think they're trying to victimize you? It is sad, very sad. That is correct. That is correct. But if you, you try, maybe it says if you wait a little, uh, you know, we are always hopeful. This is this is the nature of man. We are always hopeful that things might just turn out, you know, that they might make a special flight and send us to Nairobi. Because to me, they rather be stranded in Jeddah than in Nairobi. Jeddah is, he I mean, Nairobi is hell. Do you know that? I was stranded myself twice. You see? <laughs> You'd rather be in Jeddah and go back to Mecca and, Mecca and Jeddah, Mecca and Jeddah is only 70 kilometers away, right? Yeah, I think you, it's, it's preferable. If I was stranded, that's, that's preferable than Nairobi. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I think it's a good point. Even the reply for that. I don't know, I don't know. And they're flight people, they will know what, what are the possibilities. I have no idea about it. No idea. No, I don't know what is that person. Right there. Huh. So, 20,000 grams. I said, I would urge you. So, they aid you get to me 1,000. It cost them $8 each. The grants in here. Now, I want to prepare the market for 20,000. So I came to the Transvaal, my best market, best customers, money-wise. And I traveled about one month around the Transvaal, trying to sell rands. I am offering to people 10 rands each, or two for 15. It costs $8 each, every, but 10 rands each, or two for 15. Standard Quran, say it not the You keep on talking about 18 rands or 16 rands. The Quran. This ordinary one costs us 20, 34. Let's change my text now. 20, 34 each. It costs us an interbank. Not after storing and handling land. 20, 34 each. The deluxe one he says. And the deluxe cost us 2761. Mm -hmm. You mean? And in the pack, it costs us 2761. If you want a photo standard of that, I give it to you. Just this one here. Now give both. Give the photo standard of both. I'll give you both. So you got the full story. Right. So, 10 rands each or 2 for 15. So I go to the man. He said, I got it already. I said, look, man, you can give to your bank manager some police left hand. I said, you're a good customer. He says, all right, send me one. I said, look, why don't you put another five rounds? You get two. One is ten rounds, two for fifty. Put another five rounds. You get two. He said, no, 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 one is enough. Okay. I take the order. Somebody, I sell them two. Somebody, I sold them ten. All together, that whole trip, I sold two hundred. 
and the best salesman that you have in the country. Or anything. If you want to sell insurance, any bloody thing I want to sell. I'm the best salesman. Right? Well, I don't want to sell myself to you, but you know, I'm the best salesman. That's why I came to the stage. I'm the best salesman. I sold only 200. To me, absolutely. Because the 20,000 when they come by the turn of the century, the best salesman is alive. This is what's his performance. What did he do? I'm just wondering. What's going to happen to me when I get the 20,000? Allah is Musabib al Asbat. He solves your problems for you. That's what it is. So it's 2034, huh? 2034. And 2761 each. 2761 each. So, I'm sitting in my office in Madras Hakimah here there. A young doctor, trainee doctor, he comes to me from the medical college. Dr. Anwar Hussain, he wasn't a doctor then, he was trained. He is like a family child. He grew up in front of me, so he talked to me. He said, Uncle, we performed a miracle yesterday. He said, yeah. Yes, okay. No, my tie is coming from me. Shall I give some? No, no, because my wife is there. So. Both from both of us, we hope you like it. Because the, always you didn't hesitate by speaking to us. You didn't say you are busy. You know what I mean? Go ahead to okay, now. Leave it. I'm a busy man. You know? So I hope you like it. I'm not going to be an attack. Thank you. Thank you. I told her, no, you deserve something from us. <laughs> because you know why? Uh, you're such a busy person, <laughs> but still you find time to speak to us. What's the difference? Allah expects you to please. And then you come to the conclusion that this is, it is harmful to Islam, harmful to Islam. And if you did the job, maybe. Allah might even reward you even if you were wrong. He will look at your know, according to your given this, this information, what I see, you know, and actually with my own eyes, my own logic, I can see you know, that he is not half. Maybe. So I got rid of it. Maybe you might get hanged here, but on the other side you might be rewarded. Because you use your brains and you came to your own conclusion. But you didn't. You are like a zombie. The Jews were zombies. And Allah is warning you, don't be a zombie. But he has still a zombie. You won't think. It's not your hatred is going to move you. You don't like to see this. Your hatred for me, for the work that I'm doing. Right? Saudi connection. Now that's a hatred. It's a hatred. You come out of the house, then your heart is burning. So what kind of Muslims are you? Program. You should be happy. Even if you got it from the Russians. The money. And you've got this, and what are you doing inside? Let's go and see. What is he doing? This man is promoting Islam. Is good or bad? So he could have done better, say, yeah, yeah, but this is what he's doing. Good or bad? So no, it's good. So you should be happy. But you're not happy. Why are you happy? It's your hate. Reason for your hate? Jealousy? What else? Well, there's something wrong. You're not even prepared to talk. Because I was in Mauritius, there was a journey there. Ah. He said he's very fanatical about the takes. He likes to take, but he didn't like one thing. Right? Hinduism to Islam. Right. I kept quiet. What are you telling me? I was sitting neutral. Right. He kept on telling me, he kept on talking. So he said, oh, he didn't like where he did. I said, you know, monkey god, monkey god, monkey god. So that the friend of mine who I was staying with, he kept quiet for a while. He says, you know, this man here, he does all Ahmadiyya sprinting. So I said, now he knows who I am. First I was listening to what he said. I said, now tell me, what, did, what, what should you that say? Beautiful God, dog God, it is a monkey God. You call the dog by his name. He's a dog. He says monkey God because he doesn't believe in monkey God. So I said, you got any other, other way of telling it? Is, is there another way of saying a monkey is by, by some other name? Then he says, no, you shouldn't say it. Monkey God, they say God. I said, but it's not God, it's monkey God. They believe in monkey God. They didn't believe in this God. And they believe God with six hands. And you can't say God with two hands. Then he says, uh, God with six hands. And 
they know what you are uh, stressing the word monkey, monkey, monkey. You shouldn't stress. Why must you stress? So when you must show a way of not stressing it, I mean at least if it might open the eye of one out of no, no, your daughter. Yeah, right, you see, right. if your daughter was going that way, right, right. if you can save your daughter. Right, 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 right. Then you look at the thing. Mm-hmm. Then the right, right. Your daughter didn't cry. Right. Huh? She's bargaining, she's going out of the thing. Mm-hmm. With her lover, and she's going to marry the fellow in temple. Mm-hmm. If she just knew this, sure. if it could have saved her, sure. was that thing worth it? Worth it, that's right. But no. maybe he's related to the when you find out his wife maybe definitely right but his son is possible somewhere along something because also also or Islam has a real religious heart that's it to those munafics see everything is fine they're praying with our Nabi Masjid al Qibla time and in the middle of the middle of the Salah Allah sends a wahi about time so how does our Nabi do about time he's in the front there so he stops and he goes to the other side right. and says about to everybody. Mm-hmm. Now, Quinty here waited for the next Allah, so now look from now on. Mm-hmm. Huh? Now, who's talking? All this. Those who are making Salat behind him, right. immediately Allah says, you have discovered the Munafiks. This is the last test for the Munafiks. You don't know, they are all praying behind you. These are the Munafiks. You know, yeah, Allah not if you are faithful to Him, it's about turn. Right, that's right. You do about turn. You don't ask questions. Is it from Allah? Yes, it's about turn. Right. Why didn't you wait? Why didn't you wait? It's a command, is it? That, why didn't you wait, is, is Munafi. You, why in Mauritius, how long are you with these Hindus? Did you ever deliver the message of Islam to a single Hindu in your life? They are all going to go to hell. He says, no. So Allah says, that says everything he will forgive, but not shit. They are doing shit. So yeah, Allah says, I won't forgive you. Put them into hell. And they are your brother, and your son, and you haven't done a thing. You think Allah is going to leave you? Did that look. That guy, he just, he picked himself up. He did it himself. Exactly. Right. Right. This is not the most perfect of tapes. The most perfect way is this one. Maybe there are a thousand other ways. Right. So let's do better. Do exactly. Better. This is what I told him. Then this is what you attorney. should be doing. I told him that you are an attorney. I mean, you should show us a better way. Right. I will convey it to somebody. Right. I told right. him that. Right. Right. Then after a while, I think you will get in the corner now. He said, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I have to go now. I've got the other part of the picture. Up to this one. But then I knew for myself that this. He was just trying to relate because he found that out. No, no, Jesse, yeah. the guy, everybody is getting attracted to the guy. And he can't even, even speak good English. So, I'm not going to take on him. But everyone said, Dad, did that. So, mm, LLB, and nobody's talking about me and talking about did that. Listen, look at him, man. I'm cool, barbaric, around, which is a lingam, the union is a lot of care. No, that's jealous. Shaitan. Saying, Am I not better than him? But you're not giving me recognition. Allah Ta'ala says, I, I will give a recognition. That's yeah, what I explain. These things are there for different ways. So the biggest discovery I made in this last year of mine, mm-hmm. that because the man came to me, Muhammad Isaqa mm-hmm. from Jinnah, he's also as soon as I go there, somehow, he just wanted to be. That he's got that feeling. So be that. I want you to write a book. This booklet. About what? He said about how to call the Hindu to Islam. He said, I'm a specialist. No one in the rest of the Jews are Christian. This is not my faith. It is just by the way of the 60th night. I get things into, I jokingly joking, it's actually false. You know, the record calls it, if you take one, you go to Avogad, the pharmacy. Then I take a look at him. I said, I don't care. Because do you see the group there and all that? It was just like a joke, you see. But the videotape now, I said, when I'm going to have another videotape, they said, right, let's multiply. But otherwise, it was just like a joke. No, I was entertaining the boys. Actually, I would entertain them. This was not a serious lecture. 
going to the city hall and begging for Hinduism and Islam. That might have been something different. When you have all fooling all my own children and I'm just talking to them freely, I want to, you know, shake you up, shock you into the realization of what, what it is. That's I, I was just trying to do a job of it. And it became a bestseller. Well, look, it's not my myth. But I said, no, I'm not a real, real qualified. I said, there are thousands of qualities in India. They are the right people. They are qualified. They are in there. And Alim, we are learned people. I'm sure they have done some things. And if they have, you find it for me, I will reproduce it. He says, no, they haven't done it. I said, all these thousands of Alim, they haven't written a single booklet that you can give to a Hindu? He says, no. In this one thousand years, you rule that place. And in a thousand years, you couldn't produce a single booklet that you can give with a smiling face with the Hindu. Having the most diplomatic manner that you know, Someone said, who can shake it? I want to reproduce it. If somebody had written it, we reproduce half a million. A million copies, give it to the Hindus in India. At least make a start. You know, something, not, this is too strong. This is strong. I agree with you. I can give him that kasa, lingam, yoni, lingam, bodhi, nipu, yakaro. But if the guy doesn't know what is lingam, so I'm going to tell him okay, what it is. That means I'm telling him it's prick and push. This is going to create a problem for you. I don't want to do that. I don't want you to get massacred because of my book. So Tamara can take half of diplomatic with them. And in Dio, I will reproduce a million copies. I can afford it. I check the name of the book. I don't want to I want a book. Why? Kitchen, right? Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Khadu. Yeah. Khadu. Uh, burger. Mighty burger. Chicken burger. Nice. I like it. It's worth it. That's why we buy it. How much? Two burgers yeah. for the price of one. But you have to carry the two. No, it's like they, they don't give you... You can't uh, separate them. Like, say, there's one box for you, eat that burger, one box for you. Yeah, you take half that you need and give half to somebody else. I give to me. So Papa, take it home. But you don't like that uh, skin. It's like a, they make the rule about that long. Uh-huh. And they make the... It, it's just about... You know, they just bluff you that it's two burgers in one. Mm. They make the, the burgers in like sausage shapes. Right. But they're not sausages. But they make the chicken into a sausage shape, uh-huh. small enough. If you join those two together, it'd be about a burger uh-huh. size. Uh-huh. But then, since it's long and the burger's like long, mm-hmm. you think it's two. Uh-huh. But it's equivalent to one. And Papa, I uh-huh. know something. Uh-huh. You know where they say, um, Allah put you on this earth for a reason. I'll show you a perfect thing what you right, can do for right, the lectures. Right, 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 I need a pad. Right, right, a small right. page. Uh-huh, I give you. This pen is working. Okay, this one is working. That one is also working. All right. Okay. Now, right. we did this in science. Mm-hmm. We take five tins. Mm-hmm. We draw five tins in mm-hmm. a triangular shape. All right. And then we put the other two on top. Mm-hmm. And we put one on top. Right. Now that right. one on top will be man. Right. The one in the bottom will be animals. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And this one will be plants. Right. Plants. This one will be soil. Right. This one will be water. Right. And this one will be air. Air, right. Air. You know, mm-hmm. pretty deep. Mm-hmm. Now we take a gun. Mm-hmm. Now, just say. All these powers are in your hands. Uh-huh. Just say, just say, uh-huh. not true, uh-huh. but just say. And you shoot down plants. Right. Now, without plants, mm-hmm. animals won't survive. Right, and men won't survive. And men won't survive. Right. So, those three are out if you shoot down plants. Right. If you shoot down water, right. none of them will survive. Right. Soil won't survive. Without water, you can't get the enrichment yeah, to uh, yes. thing. And without wa- uh, mm-hmm. water, mm-hmm. Everything will survive. Right. All this. Right. Now, if we take down man, right. 
still everybody. Nothing can. happens. The animals will survive, plants will survive, air will survive, water will survive, and soil will survive. Right, right, right. right. So that proves right. that man, man is dispensable. Yes, man, Allah put man on this earth for a reason. Right. Because if he can take it out, the earth will still, if he takes on man, the earth will still survive. Right. He doesn't need man. Right. Right. Because he can still carry on with the animals, right, right, the plants. So Allah tells you why He has created man. He said He has created man so that he may know Him, Allah, that he may recognize Allah. Because man is the only creature on earth who can recognize Allah without seeing Him. You know, he can reason, so look, all these things are made, as he is following a law and an order, a system. The earth is rotating on its axis. What speed? It's 24,000 miles, a thousand miles an hour. And you never go down uh, any bit lesser or thousand, thousand miles an hour. So <coughs> in 24 hours it makes a complete circle. Right? It's neither going slow or fast. Suppose, suppose, Suppose you speed it up the earth to 2,000 miles an hour. You know what would happen? What? No life. How come? How come? How come? It's going too fast. If it goes too fast, no, you won't feel it. You won't feel it. But the day will be half the day. You see? So as soon as the sun comes out, it warms, and before it starts cooling, again the sun or night time cool, before it can warm up, again cool, again, it's, it's, it's a little warmer, then again cool. So nothing can survive, everything dies, plant life dies. If you slow it down, it will burn the things to death. And what? For 24 hours the sun is shining onto the plants. No, it's 48 it hours. It's 48 hours the thing is shining onto the plant. So by the time, 48 hours, uh, the thing is all uh, crumbling, you know, going down. And then 48 hours night, so whatever survives now, the cold or cool of the night kills it. No life. If you double up the speed, no life. If you half the speed, no life. Hmm? So not only man can see that, that this is following a law and an order. The earth is inclined at an axis of some 21 and some degrees. Do you know that? Do you learn that? Yeah, I know. It's an axis. Now, you see, you know, that means the earth is rotating like this. Not rotating like this. You know, a top, when you spin it, it turns. And it, at times it appears that we're standing still. Because it's spinning so perfectly that it looks like it's standing still. still. But it's turning. It's turning. So let's say we say, make a perfect job. Let us make the earth to be straight, not crooked like a trunk card. Mm. <laughs> hmm? Suppose you did that, you know, no life. Huh? You didn't know that. They didn't teach you this. No, because if you put it this way, it'll still retain, but it's no, 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 way. No, 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 no. If, if it turns this way, then the sun is shining at the equator. The equator is there all the time. And it's going right now. So round. now the sun rays, it evaporates the water. The water starts going up and it falls, goes up and falls. Some of them reaches the North Pole. Once it reaches the North Pole... Because it is snow. No, it becomes ice. Oh, yeah, ice. Right? South Pole, ice. Gradually there will be no water left. Because nothing, because the sun is not shining to melt the ice. It's not shining to melt the North Pole or the South Pole. So everything keeps on over here. Evaporating. Evaporating and going up. <coughs> Mm, whatever goes and settles down in the snow areas, finish, finish, finish. So there won't be any water left. No water. There won't be any sea left. Can you see? Because once the water goes and solidifies, and the sun is only shining at the equator, but because of the axis, it's giving time to sh on the top level. You know, this is near the sun. This way here, is the sun is uh, at the bottom level. And also, if you put this, if the sun turns, is ro rotating like this, if it goes like this and rotates, then... Uh, again, again. 
Yeah. yeah. The, 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 all the that is that shining in the middle because the equator is in the middle of the earth. So it's it like divides itself to shine. If it only shines on one side, then the other side will be... No, really one side will be cold, cold, cold and, and the other will, will be boiling. Hot, boiling all so all this, we can see it as it's a perfect order, a perfect law for, our, for us to see and to benefit from. Because the animal don't understand all that. <laughs> huh? The plant life don't understand all that. The only one who can see says, man, there is a master creator who made all this. Only who can appreciate that is man. This I, look at the way it's blinking. Hmm. Huh? You know, the dust falls in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lubrication. Lubrication. It's getting lubricated. Huh? Automatically it's being lubricated. Your teeth. Your teeth. You know, if these were made of metal, <laughs> it would have been worn away long ago. You know? You were worn out. Seventy-five year old. Your, your, your grandpa. You have still your teeth are there. Except for these two here. Seventy-five years I'm using the teeth. And still there. No metal could have lasted. Do you know that? No metal could have lasted for seventy-five years. You use it and it's still there. It's tinted. No, no, finish. It'll be worn out. Because uh, want, uh, even when you eat bones... Yes. No, 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 it's, it's, it's getting worn out all the time, but it's getting replaced. The calcium in the body is replenishing it. It's replenishing it. You didn't know that. As I said, it'll be finished. Uh, the thing is getting worn. It's getting sharper and sharper. And it also may allow uh, me the order that put biting teeth in front, tearing teeth over here, and chewing teeth right in the back. Because you bite, and the, and the way it's doing the chew, job. and you chew, yeah, all in up. And um, it also Allah even made a uh, order for animals to eat the chain, the food chain. See, the as the sun has the energy. To, to produce the plants, the plants to be eaten by an insect or an animal, and an animal that can eat another animal or insect, and then that was to be de- decomposed back into the soil and then to make plants, use sun energy, and can be on like that. A banja phone? Right. Uh, Actually, which one? Nahir said they'll come. Yes, sir. I told him about this. Give me MKK. You should be. You send it to him. You send it to him. Uh, the, uh, our program. Yeah. No, you tell him, he, he doesn't know about that. Uh, Canada, 18,000 or whatever. Hmm. Yes, he will come and see us. Salaam. Yeah. 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 How did it go? It went off very well. Yeah. A small uh, congregation, I say. The Imam there, uh, he is that uh, extreme Sunni type, and he wanted to... Uh, <coughs> he wanted uh, to... <coughs> that the Jamaat boycott uh, Tahirul Qadri. So the Jamaat said, no, we don't want to enter into that uh, controversy. So the Imam resigned. Oh. You want, hey. Yeah. The classroom, there's the books that you wanted right. to find out what right. you want. Right. So, what did you say? Yeah, for the first seven, they said. All right. So, by... Uh, Decomposer. Yeah, yeah, it decomposes. Yeah, all the... Uh, start but like do you know it's an insect? In a bacteria, you mean? No, yeah. it, uh, decomposer. Now the la- Yeah, it is a bacteria, but uh, the latest name is decomposer. Uh-huh. It's a... Uh, it's... Uh, they... We saw a video of it uh-huh. that shows it how it goes into the... the cells of the... Uh-huh. the thing. And made of wheat. Right. Which is a plant. Right. So now the plant is dead uh-huh. and it's going to be eaten. You know, uh-huh. baked. It's uh-huh. it, it's uh-huh. all roasted. Uh-huh. Now going now it needs to go back to its soil right. to enrich it. Right. So it's decomposing it. Right. Decomposing. So it's becoming funginous uh-huh. and it's eating away uh-huh. the the, the, uh-huh. the thing. Uh-huh. But you why is it becoming fungi? Because the sugar and all the other right. things right. added right. to it, right. 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 that's right. not natural. Right. So it's fungi, getting fungi. But if you put a dead animal there, it'll, it'll sh- after two days it'll be gone. It'll be totally ah, flat out into the soil. It'll be eaten up. Yeah. Even its bones. Bones will be eaten up. Over a period. Over a period. Yeah. Nothing can happen. She's eating still. As soon as she's ready, 
I think we should move about quarter past half past. Okay, but okay. Inshallah. Just let me see this.